A 12 year old is in critical condition after almost drowning at an apartment complex pool. This happened along Berkeley Drive in Madison. News Force Tosin Fakile is following up on this tonight. She talked to some kids in the neighborhood who saw it all happen and has some safety pool tips from experts. Tosin. Well, Marius, that 12 year old does not live in this apartment complex. That's according to police. But those who live here tell me that they are worried about that 12 year old and two kids that I spoke to who saw what happened yesterday say it was scary as they recounted what happened. I didn't know if he, if he was going to be like um, dead and it was scary. A frightening ordeal for Josh and Christina Hernandez, who were at the pool when a 12 year old almost died. I was in the pool and um, I saw these two little girls that was not trying to get a man. What I heard whenever I was there, he was, they said he was at the bottom, just like, like, sinked in. I thought they were joking at first. And then I realized it was real. Metro police say the 12 year old was playing with three other friends at the pool with no adult supervision when other children saw him at the bottom of the deep end and pulled him out. They were doing CPR and then they had to call security and then the security was doing CPR and um, we tried it. We tried to use that emergency phone, but it wasn't working. With more people getting ready to use the pool, experts are offering this advice to keep other people safe when they go swimming. We're teaching them how to blow their air out so that they're not sucking it in and choking on water. Um, and then they can reach for the side of the pool. That helps them reach for the wall to be able to climb out on their own. Um, but then also how to flip over onto their back so that they can take a breath and get air. The biggest thing is just always have adult supervision. Now, Marius, the pool at this apartment complex on Berkeley Drive is closed today. Police said yesterday when emergency crews got on scene, they found that 12 year old unresponsive and a security guard performing CPR. Police say what happened yesterday appears to be accidental. But Marius, they say youth services detectives are investigating the case. Back to you. And the emergency phone wasn't working. Tosin, thank you. Well, a lot of you may have plans to spend time by the pool for Memorial Day weekend, and we want to make sure that you're safe. So we're sharing simple ways to prevent anything from going wrong. First, for adults, always watch your children, whether they're swimming or even around the water. Children can drown in as little as two inches of water. Make sure the pool you're at does not have easy access for kids. Keep doors and fences locked at your home if you have a pool in your backyard. And lastly, taking a class is never a bad idea. You can learn what to do if a drowning happens as well as learning CPR.